Let's try and understand Judaism in the right perspective by trying to understand what is the concept of God in Judaism. When we read the Old Testament, it's mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number six, verse number four. Moses, peace be upon him, says, Shama Israelo, Adna Hino Adnaikhad. It's a Hebrew quotation which means, Hear, O Israel, the Lord, our God, is one Lord. It's mentioned in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 43, verse number 11. I am Lord, and there's none else. There's no Savior besides me. It's mentioned in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 45, verse number 5. I am Lord, and there's none else. There's no God besides me. It's mentioned in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 46, verse number 9. I am God and there's none else. I am God and there's none like me. Further, it's clearly mentioned in the book of Exodus, chapter number 20, verse number 3 to 5. Almighty God says, Thou shalt have no other God besides me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image of anything, of any likeness in the heaven above, in the earth beneath, in the water beneath the earth. Thou shalt not bow down to them, nor serve them. For I, thy God, thy Lord, is a jealous God. The same message repeated in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 5, verse number 7 to 9, where Almighty God says, Thou shalt have none other God besides me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image of anything, of any likeness in the heaven above, in the earth beneath, in the water beneath the earth. Thou shalt not bow down to them, nor serve them, for I, thy God, thy Lord, is a jealous God. If you read the Jewish scriptures, you shall understand Judaism in the right perspective and understand the concept of God in Judaism that Judaism believes in one God and of that God there are no images, there are no idols, there are no statues.